what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is aj but you could call me the god i appreciate you for picking my video go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe button now let's go my best friend noticed a creep just staring at me while i was working out if you're just using those dumbbells to just go somewhere else, please, like, you're like just standing right in front of us. How are we being? Okay, so guys, if you don't live on the rock, you probably heard about this huge debate on the internet. What would a woman want to be trapped in the woods with? A bear or a man? And 90% of these females say they would rather be trapped with a bear. Well, <laughs> this lady got the first-hand experience of what it would have been like to be trapped with a bear. Have a look. It was just so fast. She was so aggressive. She was all over me. Leanne Galante is recalling the moment a black bear attacked her in her backyard north of Pittsburgh. She had me down. She bit my arm. But she was on top of me. I thought, you know, I thought I was going to die. She had just let her dog Smokey out Tuesday night, having no idea that a female bear was lurking in the dark until she saw bear cubs in her neighbor's tree. There were three of them. If you would have seen how big those bears were in that tree and how big she was, she just kept coming. But I didn't want her to eat my baby. And if she would have taken one bite, he would be dead. Somehow the mama bear got distracted and Galanti got herself and her dog back inside. I thought, oh my gosh, what if she's right behind us? And I slammed the, the door and what was it? Galante suffered injuries to her head, neck, and arm, and may need surgery for broken bones in her face. Hi, cunts. I'm back again with another question. I'm just going to need another 30 seconds of your time. This one is specifically for the men again. I'm half naked to make sure that I get some likes and comments. What makes a woman immediately unattractive? I'm sorry. Could you repeat the question? What makes a woman immediately unattractive? Oh, uh... Wait, what were we talking about? What makes a woman immediately unattractive? And don't care about women's money. We don't care about women's competence. We don't care about women's height. We don't care about all the things that you care about in the man. Attraction isn't symmetrical, it's asymmetrical. So you became the man that you want. So all these other guys that you're meeting, they don't qualify for you. But the only guy that did meet your standards, guess what? You didn't qualify for him. I don't want a man who's only going to judge me based on my size. You just caught him short. We don't want a woman that's only gonna base us based off our height. I'm six yeah. foot four, he's five eight. I didn't judge his character. But okay, but you judge his height and he doesn't qualify for you. The same way he doesn't qualify for you, with your figure, a lot of guys you won't qualify for. Give me a second. I was never speaking down on you. I was speaking to the queen in you. I don't know whether or not to call her delusional or hypocrite because she's literally doing what she doesn't want done to herself. I don't want to date a short man and that's okay. That is your preference. Men don't want to date a fat chick and then it's all of a sudden, they don't even, they don't even want to get to know me. They don't even want to get to know my personality. And the biggest thing is that you can stop being fat. He can't stop being short. Oh, look at daddy. He's not my dad, mom. Ava. My dad is in jail and I miss him. Well, how did that nigga fix this shit then? You were both right. Hey, I look like a hot mess today. Um, I just wanted to vent a little bit. Um, I feel like dates can be so cheap. Um, the last couple of dates that I've gone on, um, I've expected the guy to pay because I feel like the man should pay for the first date and they just don't want to. Um, and so I just had a date earlier this afternoon and I sat there when the bill came and finally I just said the guy should pay first and kind of pushed it towards him and he said well in that case you should pay <laughs> got he <laughs> got he <laughs> and I just thought that is so rude and I just don't understand what the issue is I feel like everyone's trying to get something for free these days um I don't understand. I just want to go on a date and have the man be a gentleman and treat me right, treat me like a woman. I'm sorry to break it to you, buddy, but you're not a woman and you never will be. But that's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that brother.
brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. You're like a mad scientist. What I need, doctor. I can't give it to you here, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Socks block your ears. Mm -hmm. I've never told anyone this, but I can't hold it in anymore. Oh. After my husband and I had our youngest, I was extremely horny, but only about three weeks post-pregnancy. We decided to take it from the back, assuming it would be the safest. <laughs> I blindfolded silly, him silly, because... Silly. <laughs> I mean, out of all positions. <laughs> blindfolded him because my boobs were super leaky and it just wasn't a pretty sight. We did the thing had an amazing session, then I stood up and a huge blood clot fell out onto his chest. Blood clot. He asked what it was, and in my panic, I said, sorry, it's just jello. Jesus Christ. The, <laughs> the breastfeeding <laughs> feeding makes me super hungry. I said, don't move. I'll go grab a quick washcloth. I came back in the room, and he was gagging, saying the jello didn't taste very nice. Oh, oh gosh. He had grabbed it off his chest and eaten it. Like just threw it back and swallowed the whole thing. I didn't have the heart to tell him what he ate that day. That's Would that's you it. want to know or not? Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I I heard that. Y'all had to hear it though, okay? Yummy. He's repeating over and over again, because you know what I mean when I you say You want to leave me so but Misty. Misty. Mom, Misty. Misty. I have to pick up my phone. Why you ain't just go like this? <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, explain to me how y'all are the more logical gender, and yet a 15-year-old girl is able to trick you into thinking that she's 21 plus. Explain to me how y'all are the true leaders, and yet a 15-year-old girl can lead you astray into thinking that she's 21 plus. Last week, y'all was able to decipher La Kendrick Kristen Lamarian's quadruple entendres with ease. But you can't decipher if the girl you talking to is underage or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not looking too good for you buckos, now is it? Not looking good. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. But hey, forget that. You know what? She has a point. Because every person I meet, I say, hey, what's your name? And when they tell me their name, I say, let me see your birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs>